now we have the Gladius here and some more upgrades and we've got some new wheels arrived really quick actually a bit quicker than I was expecting let's get one out you've seen them before because they're the same ones as I got on the FTX Fury I was going to go for these, this part black and these part red but I got um, well I found a set at a reasonable price and um, I ordered them and uh, they cancelled my order I, they said they were def the wheels were defective which is strange and uh, but they told eBay I cancelled the order which is rather kind of them so I decided to go with the same colour because I've used it before and I like them and these are pretty well the same tyres so they should go on really quick and easy so let's get one done There we go, one wheel is on, and I can say, just by looking at it, it slightly widens the wheelbase, which won't be a bad thing, so they're slightly better offset than the stock wheels, but they go on super easy, super straight, but let's get the last three done. Now the next thing I'm trying to make for the Gladius is a roof rack. and. The biggest problem seems to be is how to mount it because of these ridges. So what I'm thinking of doing is just mounting it literally just inside the first bar. Try and make one and see what it looks like. Um, I designed some corners with some holes so it can be drilled and screwed on easily. Now. The problem comes, in all truth, is um, what to use as the bars. Now if you 3D print bars, they're not very round and uh, they're not very good. Uh, they're weak and everything. So what I've, I have done is I've designed um, designed them to take wooden or bamboo bamboo wooden skewers which are strong but flexible so I'm gonna make up some more parts and make up a basic design and see what it looks like I've got to print off two more because I only got two corners at the moment but I can always restart again and redesign but I did manage to get a double angle on it somehow I muddled my way through this through chamfering and got that now, 
the prototype um, I've got a new design on slightly different slightly more chamfered to a lower point but the biggest problem was the holes on the side um, it worked okay but it hits those too much so what I've done is I've raised it I'm raising them up a little bit so there's a bit more clearance here but all I've done is literally moved the hole up by two millimeters and I moved this one up by two so it'll be this roughly the same but it'll be higher and then I can decide how to fit it because it's still the problem of the curvature so how it goes on so once I get this frame fully made up and fitted then we can go to adding some slats or something crosswords because I'm going to glue onto the sidebar to make the part but like I said this is all trial and error uh, to get it right and how well these rods fit in you know but the great thing is using this sort of system you can slightly adjust it with just a little bit of gentle sanding so once the next ones are done I'll see if I can get it on and fitted to the next stage so there we go there's the roof rack it just needs painting up um, I don't know how exactly what I'm going to paint it whether to keep it looking like wood or paint paint it up silver and then the black on the corner posts I've got to think about it but uh, there you go, the centre bit has got slats which are made out of coffee stirrers. Um, not much else I can say, um, like I said some bamboo skewers and some 3D printed corner posts. So that's uh, two more upgrades done, the roof rack and the wheels, but once it's, and we'll have some painted pictures at the end.